uh, in a light part uh, uh, refraction to plane surface over refraction through a lens is over the last part a small portion it is and a scoring it's a very easy to understand also okay fine in this children first division produced by a prism means it is a monochromatic light children this is what actually monochromatic light so what will happen already we studied in our plane surfaces just let us recall here so here due to the refraction it is bending towards the normal again here due to the refraction from glass to air it is going away from the normal here if you can produce this emergent ray backward here you can notice this angle of deviation so what is the angle of deviation the angle through which incident light ray gets deviated from its original path is called angle of deviation at a first refracting surface a delta 1 deviation produced at a second refracting surface delta 2 delta is the total deviation produced is obtained by delta 1 plus delta 2 and on which factor does the angle of deviation depends children angle of deviation depends on the angle of the prism refractive index of the prism wavelength of the light whatever it is incidenting and with what angle it is incidenting clear fine now comes the dispersion actually here is a monochromatic light but here is white light children we know that here when white when white light is passed through a prism it gets splitted into its constraint colors this phenomena of light this phenomena of splitting of white light when it is passed through a glass prism is called dispersion then what is the cause of the dispersion children yes different wavelengths will travel with a different speeds for example wavelength of a red color is more deviates less so travels faster and whereas a wavelength of violet color is less deviates more travels less or travels with a less speed here you can see here yes the deviation produced by violet color is more than of the red color and here two important points which we have noticed at a first refracting surface dispersion and deviation both will take place but whereas at the second refracting surface only deviation is taking place and the band of colors band of wavelength so obtained in the uh, screen or is called actually spectrum okay na done children now come to the electromagnetic spectrum children when sunlight is passed through the prism we are getting a vibgr colors but it doesn't mean that do you think that only these colors are present in sunlight no it is not that many experiments prove that beyond violet color beyond even red color so many other radiations are possible together only we can call it means those radiations are invisible this is invisible this is a visible those radiations are invisible visible spectrum plus invisible spectrum together we can call it the electromagnetic spectrum here till date we have this one gamma x rays uv vibgr infrared micro radio it is a increasing order of wavelengths this is a increasing order of frequencies then what are the common properties of electromagnetic what are waves children yes these electromagnetic waves do not require a medium they can travel through vacuum all can travel with the same speed in air and a vacuum that is with a 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and these electromagnetic waves do not get deviated in an electric field and a magnetic field electric field and magnetic field and these are transverse in nature because electric and magnetic field uh, fields are oscillating perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave and like light children these electromagnetic waves can exhibit reflection and refraction okay na fine children now let us see so in what i in a shortcut let us see about the radiations so gamma radiation children the wavelength range is less than 0.1 angstrom or 0.01 nanometer these gamma radiations are emitted during the you know radioactive emissions which we will be learning in a, a radioactive decays and all these things and here gamma rays are very used in a radiotherapy to cure the to cure the cancer right due to their high penetrating powers next one is x rays the wavelength range is 0.1 angstrom to the 100 angstrom and or 0.01 to the 10 nanometer children especially so uh, actually generally you know uh, in a examination what they are trying to ask is sometimes they are asking the questions based on the wavelength mostly gamma and x-ray please remember this and x-rays are very useful in a radiography means uh, to detect the fractures in a bone and even to study the atomic arrangement of crystal these x-rays are used next one is uv radiation the wavelength range is 100 to 400 angstroms 100 to 400 angstroms when solution of silver chloride is exposed to the uv radiation first they will turn into it, this solution of silver color will turn into violet color then finally it will turn into dark brown so just because of their action and dyes only they are recognized they can be detected easily okay 
and how can we obtain the uv uh, uv spectrum children by using quartz prism quartz prism why not glass prism because glass prism can absorb all radiations why only quartz prism children here quartz prism can absorb all radiation except to uv spectrum uv radiation so that uv spectrum is obtained and here what are the applications yes they are used to check the purity of germs and eggs in the production of d vitamin d vitamin the sterilization means in a surgery tools uh, sterilization also it can be used and infrared radiations so between we have vibjo right what is the wavelength range of vibjo children it is a 4000 angstroms to 8000 angstroms so what is the use of the vibjo yes which makes the things visible right without vibjo we can't see the things only now comes to the infrared radiations these are these are also called as heat radiations children so what are the sources of these hot bodies how can we detect the infrared radiation yes by using black and bulb thermometer but how can we find the how can we get the infrared uh, spectrum children yes here rock salt prism here it is not written rock salt prism is used to obtain the infrared spectrum and the applications children these infrared radiation radiations are used Uh, as a signals during a war but why in exam they ask a question why they are used because they are invisible and they are not absorbed by the medium much okay and they are used in a night photography what is the reason and through where there is a fist and uh, fog also it can be used because they will scatter least okay now fine now the uh, microwaves the wavelength range is 10 power 7 to 10 power 10 angstroms these are used in satellite communication in a microwave ovens also these are used and the last one is i'm um, live last one is not in this chapter in this electromagnetic spectrum i'm talking so radio waves wavelength range is greater than 10 power 10 angstroms and they are used in a radar communication also used in uh, radio television communication what we call the transmission you know these are all used okay so examination point of view applications are important just try to especially here try to remember the wavelength ranges here okay na and mostly applications of uv radiations and uh, or we can say infrared radiations are very 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 important examination point of view just copy this the last topic in this chapter is scattering scattering okay now just copy this we'll discuss so now we see the concept of scattering of light children so when a sunlight enters into atmosphere in atmosphere what will be there dust particles will be there water molecules will be there so what will happen you know when light incides on these uh, particles that light is absorbed and re-emitted so this process only we can call today scattering of light means the of uh, process of absorption of energy and the re-emission of energy of light only we can call it as a scattering of light and here children here of course uh, two types of scattering will be there see in all situations scattering won't happen in the same place uh, same type right here so here before going to learn about the application of the scattering actually first we see one important thing the particle on which light is incidenting the size of that particle is so called scatterer size is very very important if a scatterer size is less than that of the wavelength of the light which is falling on it then only one particular light gets scattered so this is obeyed that is what intensity of a scattering light is inversely proportional wavelength uh, fourth power of the wavelength of the color which means what here more the wavelength less is a scattering less is the intensity of scattering if less is the wavelength more is the intensity of scattering but whereas if the size of the scatter is more than that of the wavelength of the color then all colors all light colors will get scattered to the same extent now let us see the applications here red color of sun during sunset and sun, sunrise during the sunrise and sunset children light has to travel a long distance first point and here all colors will get scattered except red why because red color wavelength is more so that what will happen red color will reach our eye without getting scattered so all colors are coming okay but we just we are receiving only red color so that we are feeling sun is in red color during our sunrise and sunset okay because red light will scatter least second one blue color of sky so actually actually compared with the blue color violet color will get scattered more right so sky would appear in a violet but why not in why only in blue color because the see violet color will get scattered more children violet color will get scattered more but the thing is that the amount of violet color which will get scattered the means in a sun spectrum if you can it is the amount of violet color will be less that portion than that of the blue color so that the next violet is what actually indigo will be there but next blue so compare with indigo and uh, what we call violet and indigo blue portion is more so that blue color will dominate 
that is the reason why sky appears blue color and why only more blue color is added you know because the size of the you know nitrogen oxygen almost which is a, a nearly equal to the blue color okay now fine next red light for a danger signal chill red color is not a danger signal but why we are using as a danger signal you know so just we are think that just we are approaching the signal so as red color has a maximum wavelength it can travel with the fast speed is more it will scatter least so that it can reach the the person the driver very easily so that the red color signal is given so that yes as it is a stopping signal we will try to stop if other than red color if you can use any other color they won't reach our eye only mean the moment when you reach traffic signals you won't realize that the stopping signal is given okay na fine children now comes to the white color of cloud so how does a cloud appear children they appear white only but why they are not in some other color you know, because these clouds are consisting of water molecules and dust particles whose size is very much bigger than that of the wavelength of the light so what will happen all colors will scattered equally so same amount all colors all scattered light will reach our eye the combination of all colors is what actually white that is the reason why clouds appear white and the last point which is very important thing is that yes from moon surface if you can look at the sky that atmosphere how uh, how does that sky appears black dark what is the reason as there is no atmosphere so that there is no scattering so we are we all are feeling because this colors main is what scattering on the right so that there is no atmosphere obviously there is no scattering so these are the concepts of spectrum chapter just copy it next we'll proceed to the sound chapter okay na copy it